We're about to go live here, ladies and gentlemen, with the match kickoff. Mark, and- we got one change in the lineup just huh. before we get started. All right. Uh, so senior Luke Shepard is actually not playing today. They had to bring in uh, another senior, number 17, Nolan Hoffman, is going to come in at forward instead. So late change to that Bluffton Pirates starting lineup. And the Bluffton Pirates here against the home team. Kaleida Wildcats, 40 minutes on the clock for this ter- first half of play. Two-man official system, Lars. Always entertaining to see uh, t- two guys try to keep up with the pace of play, but that's how they play it in high school. And we noted uh, in our pre-match commentary, we're going to see a little bit of a change from the Wildcats as they start with all their seniors on the pitch tonight, and then they'll uh, probably make some changes, go with their uh, more traditional starting lineup for uh, the Wildcats. Again, Wildcats coming out in a 4-5-1, and Bluffton a 4-4-2. Interested to watch and see how that five works. I'll see if they seem to get an advantage there early on or not. Let's see. Yeah, are they going to send that play that with a sweeper? So uh, they'll probably go, you know, with a bank of four in front or something. Here you can see it right now. Yep. Although the coach mentioned that uh, Ber- Coach Brickmeyer said they had a bit of a different alignment, a two-four uh, alignment to start. And we're underway here at uh, Kaleida High School. A lot of Bluffton possession to start. And across from Schultz. Here comes shot. Nope. Thought he was going to take a shot. Good start here for Bluffton. A lot of pressure to start the beginning of the game. Yeah, so collide a throw in, near touch line, ball back in play, controlled by Bluffton. Bluffton back on the ball as they're working through midfield here, deep in Kaleida territory. Little move outside, far right corner. Yeah. Still in control, looking. Nice, cross in. Nice cross. Headed away, nice defensive header by Kaleida, but falls back to Landon Novak for the Pirates. And clearance by the Wildcats. Bluffton will play that back across their back line. Still a lot of control. They seem very patient to start Bluffton. They're passing the ball nicely around. Need our Kaleida folks to get a little bit more involved in the game here. Quick play through the six there. Service. Keeper calls off his defense. He'll take that. And punt across midfield. So you can get a little possession here from Kaleida. Come on, boys. Bluffton's got the ball back. Under control again here. They seem to really be possessing the ball well here at the start. Yeah, I'd say good quality passing out of their back line, especially. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, ball stayed in play. Oh, no, ball out of, out of play. Yeah, hard to tell. Out of bounds. Rule in high school and rule in soccer. Hole of the ball across the hole of the line. A little hard to tell from up here. And Bluffton back to their back line. Plays across. And looking to play forward through their midfield. Both teams staying well organized. Fight for possession at midfield. And the keeper will come out, get that clear. There we go. Let's get some control here, boys. That ball was a little far for Bluffton. He tried to send him away, and it wasn't quite far. And set a substitution. So now we'll see the 4-5-1 uh, formation out of Kaleida as they're going to look to bring in their traditional starters. Congratulations to all those seniors. Great season so far for the Wildcats. Looking to make a run in tournament here. And ball out of play. It'll be a collider throw from far touch off to our right. Working from right to left here from the booth. I've said for years they should come up with just completely glass booths and we could see everything. It is a little difficult from our vantage point here. Good cross again from Bluffton. Their winger seems to really understand his job, you know. It's either get a foul, it's either get a corner kick, 
or it's get the ball over, and he seems to be doing a great job so far. Yeah, so far a couple good opportunities uh, for the Pirates. No joy on the scoring column, but they've, again, maintained possession strongly. And looking to build up again on the far left side where the coach's area, but closed down quickly by two Wildcat defenders. Forced to turn that away and play indirectly. All right, great give and go right there. Almost a close chance. Really good little give and go between the forward and the midfielder for Bluffton. And Bluffton still in control. Ball out of touch. That'll be Bluffton's first corner kick. Oh, and that's not a goal kick. The Bluffton players sold it to me. Instead, we'll have a Wildcat goal kick. And Kaleida's keeper, Brady Fersh. Put that in play. And out of touch, Bluffton <clears throat> throw in at midfield. A little brisk out there tonight, Lars. I thought uh, it cooled off pretty quickly once that sun ducked down. That tends to get that field pretty slick as it uh, gets a little wet out there. I agree with you. Make play fast and potentially risky if you're on those back cleats, not your front cleats. You'll run like you're on ice skates out there. You can. Great turn by Jacob Gecko there for the Wildcats, <clears throat> but dispossessed and Bluffed it back, heavily pressuring, trying to recover it, but. Well played by Bluffing and really good defending. The right back is making a nice run up the right side. Yeah, it's Landon Novak, number 11, senior right back. He's created all kinds of opportunities so far. He's had two or three great runs from that right back position, Lars. He has. He's been able to handle both sides and made a nice stop on the offensive play when, uh, when the Wildcats were making a little run down near the left side. First puts that into orbit, back into play. Oh, great ball through. Good look for Kaleida there, but snuffed out. Bluffton back on the attack. Number three, Alec Davis drives forward, but cleared by the back line of the Wildcats. Quick throw in taken by Bluffton. Bluffton looking for an opportunity. Nice little move there by... Atrium, he's really, he's really played well to start this game. First shot, left foot, right at the keeper, but a good opportunity shot on frame. Yep. And handled capably by Fersh. Oh, great little flick on by there, the Wildcats. Kind of half a chance here. Oh, great defensive play. And Bluffton continues to build quickly out of that back line into their midfield. Patient, indirect play. We mentioned sort of the pregame that uh, Kaleida plays with a sweeper. sweeper. Um, this is not a long pitch, so it, they, they're kind of playing that sweeper really close to the other backs, so not leaving a lot of space. One of the risks I, I note with a sweeper system is it does give uh, – an attacking team the opportunity to set a deeper striker and not play offside with that uh, I agree. sweeper. But in, in this in this case, I've noticed he's pretty tight on those backs, really just kind of picking up anything missed. Well, one so, thing I think that we're seeing also here, because they play with that sweeper, I think they've been outnumbered in the midfield. And I think that's why we're seeing Bluff and hold a lot of possession, because they seem to be outnumbered in the midfield. It's a math game, isn't it? It is. <laughs> More of yours around the ball than theirs. Both in offense and defense, by the way, right? And ball out of play, far side of touch. Be a bluffed and throw in. Back the Novak service. Yep. And Bluffton on the attack, but again, Kaleida packing it in tight in there, not giving Bluffton any space to build right up to the goal face and get shots off. I mean, they've had one shot on frame, but really just mathematically, and they've been able to kind of snuff out every other attack option. 
First foul. They have. Committed. It seems like yeah. It seems like Bluffton has three quarters of the field. There's just this last quarter of the field they haven't been able to penetrate yet. And I think you're right. They keep getting outnumbered in and around the box. Well, and if you're playing at four or five, you're probably content to give up sort of the higher midfield, sort of that midfield third. But you're going to get after it in that defending third, and that's pretty much what they've done so far. So free kick coming. A yeah, good opportunity. Bluffton. Good opportunity here for Bluffton. Low service, but harmlessly handled by Fersh. Scoop that up off a minor deflection, but... Seemed like a little bit of miscommunication maybe that. It, I couldn't quite <laughs> tell what happened. Yeah, usually the guy will run over it, and the next guy will thunder it, but they sort of sort of whimpered it there. And now Kaleida on the attack. Nice ball through. Opportunity there for Kaleida, but uh, scooped up by junior goalkeeper Kyle Basil. Gets that into play quickly up here on the right side, looking for junior midfielder Theo Andeas. But, uh, looks like that did not enter play, so that'll go back to Bluffton. Oh, it did enter play, the official said. He'd have a better look at the line than I would from up here. So Bluffton building again through midfield. Uh, errant passes there. Shot opportunity, but... Uh, Again, Kaleida packs it in. And I think it was a little frustration there. I think he thought he was fouled on the other side and came back, I think, when he turned over the ball and felt a little frustration and took another foul the other way. Yeah, and, you know, he was close to getting a shoulder, you know, kind of legal contact, just a little behind him and used his uh, principles of physics to displace the other player there. You're so right. Bringing back your high school physics class with you? <laughs> it's been at least a year or two ago. Uh-huh. Kaleida back in possession, looking to build across midfield. Oh, unfortunate. Good yeah. opportunity. A couple, strung a couple passes together, got the field switched. Out of play, so Bluffton on the attack quickly. Yeah, that was a nice build by, uh, by Kaleida. They've done a nice job coming out of their own end there. Bluffton getting numbers quickly on the ball there at midfield. They are really committed to dominating that midfield. The coach didn't really talk about that. but uh, Here's Atrium again. He's been really good at crossing the ball as he gets another cross in. But again, cleared away by the Wildcats. Out of touch for a throw in on the near touch line for the Lufton Pirates. Service, left oh, foot. Oh, nice cross. Headed safely away and cleared. And there's a Wildcat clearance, but... Uh, Bluffton back on the attack there. Pushed up well into Kaleida's half. Their whole defensive line is pushed up the midfield. Again, this is a shorter pitch, so it's... Uh, a little kinda, more compact. Yeah. Especially in the midfield. Sort of changes the dynamic of uh, what you can do in there, but we'll see how that shapes up. I'd assume it gives some... Oh, nice wide ball. Yeah, it's the midfielder, Andreas. Theo Andreas, number two. Good opportunity there. Nice move, and a, oh, great chance on goal right there. Great save. So second opportunity for uh, Bluffton. Great shot there. We're at 27 minutes, 38 seconds, first half. Again, thanks to the scoreboard sponsor, Kaleida Telephone Company, now offering streaming TV service along with digital cable. Good luck, Wildcats. Really nice save by Ethan Nickel there. He really took away the angle, and really nice play. Yeah, tall keeper, too. That helps. I noticed both their keepers are fairly rangy players. Number one, Braylon Smith for Kaleida on the attack. Dispossessed there deep by Bluffton. Yeah, Ben Hartzler's been rock solid back there so far. Yeah, he's, a, he's I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's been a starter for Bluffton for a couple, at least several years. I've His experience clearly shows. Yeah. And Bluffton back on it. Patient build up in midfield, but uh, quick tackle there. Drew first, number seven for Kaleida. Oh, but nice chance here. Bluffton recovers it, looking for the cross opportunity. Great pass. Pushing it in. And back into the mixer there, but uh, Kaleida just giving them no space to get shots off. Lots of numbers in there. Very good ball movement by the Pirates. They're doing a nice job even inside the box now. 
Yeah, it's interesting. It's been kind of a, let's call it a, a tactical passing battle against a brick wall at defense. And that may be kind of consistent with what uh, Coach Berkmeyer said. He was going to rely on that defense to keep him in the game. and you know, He sure about, is right now. He sure is. And that's one of the sort of tactical components of a 4-5-1 is, uh, you know, looking for that quick counter. So seems like a lot of the play has gone for Collide is coming through Coley, number 14 in the middle. He's had a nice beginning to the game right here since he came in. Collide back on that. Quick clearance out of play here for a throw in. Oh, great ball. Great ball by Andreas right into the corner. Oh, Another opportunity and uh, Collide defenders putting every body part in the way to prevent anything from getting crossed in front of that goal mouth. So that will be a corner kick, corner kick for corner? Bluffton. I think it went off his shoulder <laughs> as he trying to stop the cross. <laughs> shoulder, left ear, whatever right. he could get in the way would prevent that. Whatever it takes. That's what they say. So, All right, let's see. They've got some numbers here, the Pirates. Let's see what kind of play they put together here on this corner. High service, far post. Nice Headed ball. down oh. and just over the bar for Bluffton. But great service, great opportunity. A good header just didn't get that down at the feet of the keeper. So goal kick to Kaleida after that missed shot. It was Landon Novak on that header, I think. Yeah, he got up, elevated. He really got up there. Hit that well. Good use of the binoculars there, Leo. That's why those are very handy, aren't they, Lars? They are. They help our old eyes. Exactly. A little miscommunication there. We'll have to turn over. As, uh, oh, Wildcats great ball through. The attack. Again, it's Coley in. He's having a chance. Nice ball across. 14 Lozier with a cross. Good opportunity, but defended. Recovered by the Pirates. And Collider back on it. Bypassing the player. Oh boy, is he fast. For Aylin Smith. Goes by Bubba, I'm told. Good little attack down that left touch line. Really nice play. Down. Not sure how he went down. Either physics or gravity, usually. So let's see, sometimes some players have great throw ins where they can almost get it in like a corner kick. Let's see. It's like he's kind of setting up in that way now. Let's see. Big throw. Tech Schulte with the throw. Great. Quick oh. header by Lozier. Nope, not Lozier. Nice There's ball. There's Lozier with a th shot. Just wide of the post. Goal kick to the Pirates. When you see some of those shots in the air, hitting a full volley, which is hitting the ball completely out of the air, is a tough shot. It's really for... It is. He got foot on it, too. He did. He did. The next one on frame, and good things will happen. Short kick from Bluffton's keeper. Kaleida initially on the ball, but uh, Bluffton going to run that in directly across their back line. Patience, patience. Everything at the back seems to go through Hartzler. He really does a nice job controlling the back. Yeah, good quality player. Patient, strong on the ball. Doesn't, doesn't give up space. He does. Oh, nice ball in the corner. Oh, great move. Nice little step over. <laughs> great play by Hartzler again. Wow. Ball out of play, far side of touch. That'll be a bluffed and throw in. Quick substitution opportunity. Bluffed and back in control. Played forward quickly. Great ball down so the way. Yeah, so Lars, there you see the sweepers back there um, kind of cutting that angle out between the goal. So even, you know, you had a, it looked like a 2v1 on that right back, but that sweeper kind of drifts over take away some of that risk. It's a little bit when you look back and see like someone out there playing center field right. and kind of see where the ball goes and they go out like a safety in football yeah. and can go where, the, where they're most needed. So Bluffton plays through the middle. Little Look like a handball he got away with there, I think. Smith jumps on that for Kaleida. Little loser. Nice ball. Coming down left touch. Nice little stop and turn. Not able to keep control of that. Oh, 
What are the odds? <laughs> Smith beats his first man. It's by a second man. Nice ball. Crossing it's the in box. the box. Here we go. Great cross. And oh, that's yeah. a goal what a finish. for Kaleida. Smith to first. Great finish by Fersh up there. Uh, came completely on the strength of Smith's attack up that left line. Beats two players. Puts it outside of the right foot cross in. Bing, bang, bosh. Quick Bish, and bash, bosh? What you bet. Say? Really nice ball. Exactly right. Great little cross that came up. And then a first-time ball in the far right-hand corner. Great goal. Great goal. So first goal, 21-103 on the clock. 1-0 in favor of Kaleida. Thanks again to the scoreboard sponsor, Collider Telephone Company, now offering streaming TV service and digital cable. And we're back, live action here, score 1-0, 21 minutes. Uh, Collider having just put a great goal away there and lead 1-0 over the Bluffton Pirates, Lars. Right, it's such a good example, I think, when you there's a lot of time you try to get time of possession and hold on to the ball and give yourself a lot of chances to score. But really you just need one half chance and a goal can come from it, and that's exactly what happened right there. Their first real chance of the game was a finish. And it was a great shot, great outside of the foot pass, and that finished. So back underway. Kaleida looking to build up again, far right side. And Bluffton will come away with that. Look to switch the field across the back line. Oh, sure. Out of play, Bluffton throw in. It's 11, Landon Novak. Again, cleared away. Novak again with the throw. Yeah, and like uh, you noted, all that possession and one opportunity, and Kaleida jumped on top quick with that uh, first goal inside of 10 minutes. So, Sorry, It has not been the run of the play. It has not, but, but great individual effort outside there by Smith, who just took on two defenders, got by both. Great cross, great finish. Throw in by the uh, Pirates as Kaleida defending. Ball hit clear. Oh, attempted to clear. Kind of mishit clear, I'd call that. Now it's cleared. And ball out of play. 19 Kerner for, oops, sorry, 19 is Hartzler again for Bluffton. Gets that throw in underway. And our second foul on the Wildcats. If I had to say possession, 70-30? I'd say 70-30. Probably, but 1-0. Uh, you bet. Exactly. Possession. Here's, an, here's another good free kick opportunity. They're good in the air on the last corner kick. Let's see what happens on this one. So Justin Good, number eight, steps up. Service, low and hard. Headed out, just redirected basically for a corner kick. So be another corner kick opportunity here for the Pirates on the far well, side. A, a lot of times they try to put it into the near post for and just skim it over someone's head just to give the goalie a little bit of misdirection and somebody comes in from the backside to finish those. Seems like they got the good flick on, but they didn't quite get the finish. Yeah, just wide of the sticks there, but uh, see what happens on this corner. Service up near post, headed away. Good defensive header by the Wildcats, but Bluffton able to come away with that again. Look to go home, play back to the keeper. And served away and out of play. Wildcat throw in near touch. A little, little wide right on that clearance. <laughs> Bobby Bowden's favorite <laughs> statement, as I recall. <laughs> Good physical play, but no harm. Oh. Errant out of play by Schultz, number 10, for... Nice opportunity here. When you see, it looks like uh, Kalila on trying to create these little triangles of possession. They just had one where they got a little bit out of control right there. Left and back on it. 
Justin Good doing a lot of work at midfield. Kind of beats that first line of defenders with some penetrating dri dribbles, but goes indirect, plays it back. Did a nice job switching the field there. Foul far side. Another dangerous free kick. Kind of about corner kick distance, perhaps. Maybe a little longer. It is. Looks like they got their signals right this time, just putting one player over the ball. Service. Oh, nice service. Up and in the mix, but oh. handled capably by Fersh there. It elevates both hands on that ball. No harm. Nice play. Nice play. Puts that into orbit. I've lost that up by the Sputnik, but it does land uh, far side as Bluffton fights hard for recovery. A little step over, move out of the defender. Trying to shake the attack and not get pinned inside the 18. Hartzler really has that down to a science. I think we've seen him do it three or four times already. <laughs> that little step over move is working Drop really well. Drop the shoulder, well. step over the ball, turn the other way. Bluffton throw in. It is interesting, like you said before, Clyde really relies on its defensive approach and really loading up the back, and it's really paying off for them. They're really doing a nice job stopping them in the final third. Well, that's, you know, if you out of a 4-5-1, that's the, one of the strengths is you pack it in in front of the goal and just fight for every ball, get it clear, and they've done that very successfully because Bluffton's had some nice-looking opportunities. And again, one breakdown on the right side of Bluffton's defense, and... They're quick, down one, they're down one, nothing. A quick goal. <laughs> so free kick awarded to Kaleida. Great ball in here. Service into Bluffton's numbers, though. Kaleida just committing three forward. Headed out of play by Bluffton, so Kaleida with a deep throw in. Steck Schulte will take the throw in. I think he has that long throw that we talked about before. He, he, I think he can almost throw it to the near post, so it's almost like a, th a corner kick every time he throws it. Quick substitution. Uh, Decide to go short there. Smith again. And Clyde on the attack. Steck Schulte, service. Oh, nice ball. Just up and over the post. Yeah. Couldn't tell him that was a service or a shot. I think he intended it to be a service from his posture when he hit it. But just got a little more foot on it than he wanted to try and wrap that. He did. I think it was a nice play, though. There, nice held control. Tried to put it across, looking for some of his uh, some of his attackers to be in the box, and they weren't quite there. And he was a little bit far on the ball. A couple of quick passes over here to get the goal scoring opportunity for Wildcats. They're uh, one for one on their other opportunities that are on frame. So, <coughs> nice moves out there. Kalida back on the. Build up train for midfield. I think their pitch isn't helping them out. A little bumpy out there. That's the upside and the downside of grass, Lars. Yeah. Drew Fersh <laughs> in the midfield seems to do a nice job holding the ball. Um, they just need to play a little bit through him and find him a little bit more in the midfield. Steck Schulte. Nice little give and go there. A little get control. Out of play. Should be off of Bluffton for a wildcat throw in. And that's... Uh, Bluffton might object, but I think the official had that right from our vantage point high atop Wildcat Towers here. Steck Schulte. Oh, nice little Meg there. Did you see that, everybody? Right between his legs. Five dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> Every time. And good building up again oh, nice for Bluffton. Nice ball. Beautiful ball by Justin Good. Uh -oh. Serves across Good midfield. Shot oh. taken. Wildcats sell out. Save that. Back to Bluffton. Oh, nice little flick there by Justin Good. They got a nice little chance here. Yep. Kaleida still committing numbers there. The Wildcats keeping it tight and organized in the backfield there. Ball out of play for Wildcat throw in. Near touch. Nice chance there by Noah Hoffman. I think he did a nice job trying to get himself free inside the box there. Steck Schulte looking for an open player. Nice throw. Oh, yeah, he has Puts a long down throw. The line, but out of play. That'll go back to the Wildcats up here. They'll just take the space. Steck Schulte will step up again. He can really throw it. It's impressive. 
Got a little help from the ball boy down there. <laughs> Use him as a launch pad, maybe. I think only the home team can do it. It'd be a little brother. I think you're right. Oh, great ball into the corner. Nice opportunity again. Nice Bubba cross. Smith with another cross. Oh. Cut out by the keeper. Braylon Smith, when he gets loose on that wing, he is tough to break down. That's for sure, but uh, Kyle Bays will cut that cross out. Great cross right on the top of the six, but uh, he's able to get down and get that quickly. But Bluffton on the attack again. Both teams staying organized. In attack and defense. A little service just a bit outside. <laughs> I think he lost that one the outside of his foot a little bit. <laughs> it did. Yeah. Trickled toward the flagpole out there. So goal kick to the Wildcats. Keeper first, left footed. Sends that this way. A little short kick and bluffing all over that. Yard oh. pass. Clearance. So there's two really good opportunities for uh, Kaleida so far to score. Uh, one in the goal, one, you know, good close look. Bluffton's had some good looks, but they've not. Oh, oh, right until there. Shot from outside. Bluffton able to put one in the back of the net. That'll tie the score up at 10 minutes, 29 seconds. We'll take a quick break and be back with the score 1 1 here at Kaleida High School. We're back underway. Bluffton on the attack after scoring their goal at 10-26. 1-1 on the scoreboard here. Goal credited to number 17, Nolan Hoffman. Great shot from distance. Hard on the ground. Got just under the keeper. Nothing at all first could do to grab that. It was a great shot. Got just enough space. Took his opportunity. But now Kaleida back on the attack. Forcing Bluffton to have to defend aggressively. Smith's done a great job. Down Another down opportunity oh. crossed in. Earns a corner for that. So, <laughs> again, three opportunities, Lars. All came off the foot of Bubba Smith there, number one. He has done an unbelievable job down that wing. He seems to be able to beat his, beat his man down that wing every time, and he gets the ball over every time. Wonderful opportunity. Yeah, great cut back, trying to, for that, what they call the second six. That's the six-yard area on top of the six-yard box. Pretty Great interesting formation score. here on the corner kick where there's no one at the near post. Let's see how this goes. Ball comes no to the service. near post. Oh, just touched at the last second. Bluffton able to get that away. Quick counter opportunity. Let's see how they do. Huffman again on that. Pirates are back in numbers, though. I think they have it under control. Good cross opportunity. Uh-oh. Number two. Service. Oh, nice pass. And cleared. Well defended, but another good opportunity there for for Bluffton on the attack. Yeah. Theo Andeas did a nice job getting himself by the defender and getting the ball across. Yeah, Good's done a Good's created a lot of trouble for that back, yes. back defensive line of Kaleida. Did that again. Just got them under pressure, got them on their back, kind of on their heels backing up. Cross opportunity, but good safe clearance. He does a really nice job of distributing the ball. He does, and he's, he'll, he'll attack that space really quickly. If he, if he gets his head up, he'll take two quick touches and accelerate into any space they give him. So, so appears to be a wildcat throw in just out of our line of vision with the side wall of the press box. My, even in my good days, I couldn't see through walls, Lars. You're not Superman. That's, I believe it or not. <laughs> Bluffton back on the attack, right touch. Service will bounce out of play, catches the crown of that pitch. It was, uh, ben tried to put it down the wing there, Ben Harsler, but it was a little bit wide right for the Pirates. Yeah, just kind of squibbed away. I don't think he caught it as clean as he wanted to. Looking for swerve that inside, it went outside. Good back on that. Nice through ball. Didn't have any support there. out of, I think he was looking for Novak, but Novak had kind of checked his run. 
It's a dangerous ball toward that corner flag. So I said before, Lars, I think we might have picked one of the best games in Northwest Ohio to catch tonight, and so far it has not disappointed. That we are seeing lots of nice play from both teams. It's an exciting game to watch. Throw in far tuck. Oh, free kick it looks like. Uh, Lufton putting some foot skill to work. Back on the attack, left Good side. Good again, nice ball into the corner. Gets it over. Nobody in front there to, for the service. Yeah, a little shallow on that service. First with no risk, stepping up and picking that off. Upper grabs here. Collision. Big collision there. The official will take umbrage with that. Reset play, awards the free kick to Bluffton. Probably should have been a play advantage, I think, there, but. Hard to say. Yeah. Quick uh, restart, looking to get collide under pressure quickly. Good ball across. across. But uh, most of Bluffton's players lined up on the back side. I think they were looking for a higher service. It kind of squibbed in there about knee height, so Collide able to get that clear and recover their organizational shape. There seem to be some opportunities at the near post, but they're just not taking advantage of them. Hartzler. Mays. Back to Basil. Hartzler. Flick on by number three, Alec Davis. The Wildcats, again, able to hit that nice, clear. Nice job defending there from the Wildcats. Yeah, they just stayed calm, didn't let anything fluster them, but another quick buildup by Bluffton on that kind of... It, it was good again. He beat three guys consecutively, but just couldn't get past that last defender. Little uh, heel flick, hoping to find a partner in crime behind him. <laughs> to, uh, falls back to the Wildcats as they have to build up on the left side. Aaron Pass not able to connect that. But, uh, oh, nice defending there. Sexuality steps up, recovers the ball, delivers a little punishment. And Aaron Pass, though, I think he was frustrated with himself, but. Uh, just a little errant pass. I think he was looking for a cutback run. A little miscommunication. Yeah. Zigged when he should have zagged. I, that's what it looked like. And Bluffton back in control. I'd say the possessions evened up a touch, but Bluffton sort of still on top of the possession statistic at this point. Maybe 60-40. I would say 60-40 versus the 7-30 before. Yep, I agree. Seems about right. Nice turn by Smith. Bubba is hard, tough to take the ball off of. He's really nice on the ball. Yeah, and uh, he was looking for some help up there. Kind of play arrived a little later than I think he expected. But nice little oh. one-touch flick pass trying to find Stexel out here on near touch. Yeah, Kaleido was just one touch away from getting freed up again there. It was pretty close. And Miller to Fersh. Drew Fersh, that is. But... It harmlessly upfield by Bluffton. Is there now back on the attack shot from distance? He gave that a good crack. And Brady first with the routine save. Got up, got both hands over the ball, covers it up. No harm. Great touch by Theo Deus there for Bluffton. Wow. Good got dispossessed there pretty nicely. I think maybe that one should have been a foul. <laughs> I don't know how we called the other one for the foul and not that one. That was number six. Ethan Oglesby uh, <laughs> laying it about, as it were. Lay some wood. <laughs> Two minutes, 28 seconds. 
on the clock here as we're winding down. That's the Kaleida Telephone Company scoreboard tonight. 1-1 one, one remains the score on the board here. Steck Schulte, throw in, headed out of play by Novak. Steck Schulte again, steps up quickly. Up and away and out of play. They're walking up the field here with throw Take in. the space. Yep. Two minutes remain in the first half. Two minutes. And if I'm the home ball boy, I'm not going to give the ball up that quickly. <laughs> Big throw. <laughs> Probably don't think that went as far as he wanted it to. Poke tackle there out of Stechschulte, able to dispossess the Pirates, but... Almost intercepted there, far side. Stechschulte on the attack now, taking on the middle of the Pirates defense. Quick tackle. Shot. Nice shot. Takes a strange shot. bounce and handled by Basil. Kind of caught him in his upper neck area. Took a one hop on him. And I feel, I think it's rain to touch. That field's gotten kind of slick. Slick, you bet. First took a nice crack there. He did. Yeah, yeah nice great shot. shot, left foot. Yep. One hopped it. Dangerous shot opportunity. but another. It's a good opportunity when it's wet like this to take those long shots. Yeah. It's easy for the goalie to misjudge. Yeah, almost had that there, but able to reel it in harmlessly. Kaleida. He got some space here. Let's take advantage. Building up left side. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Bubba. Back to Smith. Nice. Oh, terrific ball. Great cross. Great through ball oh. there, but just at the last second, this possessed. Ben. Boy, Ben Hartzler's there again. Nice yeah, play. Last second saves. That's nice a great, play. Uh, great cross opportunity in there. And what I liked about that, Lars, is angled ball, straight run. Exactly right. You know, don't want to make a straight ball and a straight run or an angled ball and angled run. run. Angled ball, straight run, straight ball, angled run. That's going to give you your best opportunity to find the back of the net. And it's going to free space every time. And that happened there. Just great defensive effort by Hartzler, as you say. Smith back on it. Countdown three, clock here, five, heading to halftime. 1-1. One, one. As this first half come to an end at Kaleida High School, we'll take a break. Double zeros on the clock. Lars, we'll be back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Kaleida High School fought to a 1-1 draw here in a great first half of soccer, Lars. Yeah, very exciting. You know, I think uh, we had a lot of possession from Bluffton, as we saw. It started off really heavy, and I think it evened out more as the half went on. And then we saw Kaleida, once they made the switch from their senior class and brought in some other players, they really started to take it a little bit to Bluffton and scored that quick goal. And I think that really uh, shook them up a little bit, and it made it for a really interesting last 20 minutes. Yeah, Bubba Smith with a great cross and a couple other opportunities. Really not unafraid to take uh, the defenders on one-on-one, -on -one, but as you said in the first half, Lars, Ben Hartzler doing an outstanding job uh, in that back four for Bluffton. He really keeps a nice control. You know, it's a good example of when you see a sweeper that's very well, communicates well with, the, with his defenders, that they really can control the game from back there, and you could really see it. Yeah, key. that's a good key is uh, that center back communication, kind of keep all the pawns on the board in the right place. He's done a great job at that. We're coming back here, but uh, tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Kaleida Telephone Company, now offering streaming TV service along with our digital cable. Good luck, Wildcats, as they are drawn 1-1. One, one. We're about to get back underway 10 seconds out from the second half of play. I think we'd be remiss, though, if we didn't talk a little bit about the, the Wildcat defense. They yeah. played really well. It was a bend dome break type of defense. There were a lot of opportunities in and around the box, but they did a nice job, I think, of keeping the shots from the outside. And then we did see one tremendous shot from the outside. They, yeah, that's right. Uh, that was uh, uh, number 17, Nolan Hoffman, with a great shot, hard on the ground shot, uh, to score Bluffton's goal. Uh, Bluffton... Probably more opportunities, but but yeah, like you say, Lars, they you know the Kaleida defense was packed in there tight and no really open clean looks. They've just not had that kind of 
opportunities when when Bluffton sort of possesses through the midfield. They've they've looked you know good and controlled and and quality, but you know you, you get up against that kind of back defense quick and you run out of space. I, I think we saw from Brady Hemp, who's back to the sweeper for the for the Wildcats. He's done a really nice job, uh, kind of sweeping up anything that comes through. Hence literally, the, hence the name. Hence the name. Yeah. So back under play here as uh, Kaleida takes the opening restart kick at half and throw in awarded far side to Bluffton, but uh, Kaleida able to get that under control. But back to Bluffton. Again, looking to play indirectly off that back line. They've done a really good quality job of that, Lars. They have really played nicely in the back. They control the ball nicely among the defenders and the midfielders. It's, it's really a delight to watch. I think we'll stick Schulte and Smith out on that left side now so we can get a feel for the players on our side this second half. It's a little hard to see them so far away in that first half, but uh, we'll highlight some of the guys on this side of the pitch going the other direction as they've made that change. Bluffton on the attack right up the middle. So deep sweeper there, foul called as the uh, Bluffton player. Again, like we said, I think that was that Rampy, I think is that's how we say his last name. Rampy yeah. did a nice job again, holding him off. The last man ended up drawing the foul. So I would nice point job. out one little risk if, if Bluffton can get that counter on another eight or 10 yards prior to where they did, like meaning back further up the pitch, uh, you're gonna get a good run. You saw that uh, Bluffton attacker uh, hitting speed, not offside because you got a sweeper back there. So there's one of the drawbacks, I think, of a sweeper system. A hundred percent right. You know, if you watch the field, that's a lot of times you try to play the offside to keep the other offense on uh, honest. But with a sweeper, it's a little bit more difficult. That's right. And so, yeah. But when you build up right on them like that, so here we are, Bluffton back on the attack. Shot attempt. And wow. Picked up. Kind of pinged around in there a few times, but... Uh, a little bit like a pinball machine in there, right. I think. Pinball right? wizard, but first comes away with that at the end of all the entertainment. And bluffing back on it. A little foul doled out there by uh, Justin Good, number eight. I think that was a bit of a tough foul. Yeah, Wildcat player still down. I'm not sure who that is, but that was a kind of took a. I think he got hit and lost his footing. That's Stet Schulte. Stet Schulte. That I think I think Good got a little uh, frustrated with the ball taken from him and took it out a little bit there, with resulted in his player being injured here. Yep. So we're stopped. Oh, we got the clock running still. I'm surprised they haven't given the signal to stop the clock. So it looks like Stet Schulte's got up. A little help from his buddy there. Kicked the ball at him. <laughs> now he's stopping the clock. It took him nearly a minute to determine the clock stoppage as the training staff will come check on Steck Schulte's welfare. Looks like he rolled his right ankle in the fracas there, Lars. Looked like, too. I think he got a, kicked a little bit in the back of the heel, I think, and forced him to go over on his ankle. Yeah, and again, first half, a little bit of rain coming down kind of through halftime. Not not a hard rain, but enough really to make that pitch slick and uh, make footing a bit adventurous. Most of these players, I would note, uh, typically wear the hard plastic uh, cleat frames, and the, the cleats on the back of those, they're, they're like ice skates. <laughs> Basically, it's point forward, and then the, the front on the front of the foot, the ball of the foot, kind of round. You know, more ideal cleats would be those kind of hard metal round cleats, but... Uh, Kind of give you a little better footing in a circumstance like this, but to each their own on uh, stud selection, as it were. Kaleida with the free kick restart, service up into the middle, and still in control, but Bluffton able to get that clear initially. Looking to build up here on the left side. Nice little ball down the line here. That's number three, Alec Davis. Flicks that over the top, looking for Hoffman, the goal scorer in the first half, but doesn't find him. Ball out of play, far side of touch. Bluffed and throw in. Come right back at you quickly here. Nope. Looked like he was going to get that in quick. I think he was trying to play quickly there, but uh, the players were kind of running a little bit away from him. I think a lot of times players try to run into open spaces and they forget. Sometimes you got to run back to the player with the ball just to free yourself up. A little check back. Yeah, change speed, change direction. Good technical advice for young players out there. 
remember I took my kid to a crew clinic and he came out all proud once that they told him when you get the ball, accelerate away. And then I looked at him and said, you know, I've been telling you that like 10,000 times. <laughs> Sometimes as parents, you just got to hear it from somebody else, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. Give him an English accent. <laughs> Left and back on it. Little step over look. It's number six. Ethan Oglesby. Nifty yeah. little step over, but uh, ball out of play. Wildcat throwing. Yeah, a little aggressive on that pass, I think. That's a good way to put it. So, yeah, and so here's a good look uh, from our vantage point of how. Well, the Wildcats are kind of hanging back and, and, you know, really giving up around the midfield line there. So permits Bluffton pretty much to dominate possession there. But uh, I think that's right. And I think they're getting a little stuck right now. And when the Wildcats are getting the ball, they're kind of playing a little bit of kick and run. You know, one person's running with the ball and everyone's running away from them when just trying to play possession a little bit. Yeah, I'd say that's kind of one of the main tactical differences I've just noted. Oh, service. Great ball. See if this results. Drops a shoulder, but out of play. It'll be a goal kick. But, uh, yeah, so I would say, you know, for Bluffton's part, they're really working hard to get two, three players in combination around that ball. Play, they're willing to play indirect, take some chances, maintain possession, kind of build up a little more patiently. But this field doesn't set up to make that effective because, there's you know, it's, it's a short field. So... The Wildcats, you know, they kind of negate that just by packing numbers in and around the 18. They do. There's not a lot of room out there. Nope. Should be good for me. I'd be up and down it twice, and I'd need a nap. <laughs> I think both of us would need a nap. <laughs> Wildcats on the attack. Dribble across midfield. Nice cross out to right touch as players on it. Oh, nice ball. Nice cross. Oh. Handled by Basil again. Not quite enough on that to create an opportunity, but kind of good build-up play across the front of the goal. Now Kaleida looking again. His possession in midfield. Strings a couple quick passes together, but cannot split the defenders, so Bluffton on the counter. Don't have enough numbers, really, I don't think. They need a few more people to come up and support the attack. Ball out of touch, far side. Wildcat throw in. So I think you see, if you look at the field right now, you can see there's a big gap between the kind of defensive six or seven players and the midfielder and a couple forwards. I think you've got to start to fill those gaps. Yeah, that's, you know, and that's, that's interesting. Covered a lot of high school soccer. That, that I would say, um, from a tactical perspective, that's one of the more common problems I see. They just, they tend to get disconnected in that midfield gap, and they'll just bypass it instead of... And ball out of play, far side, goal kick for Bluffton. But yeah, that's like you say, that gap is not, it's not really helpful to good tactical soccer. Um, and, but, you know. And, and it leaves you open to when you do get the ball, uh, you either got to make a quick play with it or you end up losing it. When sometimes you want to keep a little bit of possession so your players can kind of get control of the game. Bluffton service. Oh, nice Hello. ball. One on one. Wildcats defense able to. Recover that capably, number five, Horstman. Fighting hard for that, but back to good. A good midfield battle here. Both squads trying to emerge victorious. A nice little square pass. Horstman on the run from the back right position, but Bluffton recovers it. Quick one-touch passing. Oh, nice defending. Yeah, steps in front of the attacker there. It's uh, number 10, Dawson Schultz, uh, able to jump that pass. No foul there. I think the player lost his footing and hoped he'd get cleated on the way by. But I think he was looking for a call there, but didn't quite get the call no. he was looking for. You could tell by the look on his face. I need the call. Oh, nifty little pass. Great little Flick. pass. Oh, and then a shot from distance, but just didn't quite get his all his whole foot on it. Yeah, no, he didn't. So, yeah, it kind of came up somewhere between a shot and a cross. He did have a player on the backside here. So if he, you know, had kind of altered that technique, maybe number three for Bluffton. 
Davis able to get a score on the back post, but first we'll put that back into play as the Wildcats now show they can string a few passes together, but dispossessed by number six. Oglesby done a good job in there midfield. He's tenacious on that ball. Good. Oh, it's a foul. It's got to be a foul. That's right, gonna a foul. Going to be a nice opportunity here for Bluffton. Dangerous spot. Good at beating one man and then fouled from behind. No harm. So you're a nice opportunity right here. It looks like uh, the Wildcats going to put a little wall there to protect the short post. So let's see how they get organized here. It looks like they got a play putting on right here right now. Let's see. Service. Nice Squeeze it up the middle. Oh. Well handled by first. Steps up. Elevates, grabs that with both hands, gets his fingers over the top of the ball. Good technique. Takes away a dangerous scoring opportunity on a deep set piece off the foul for I think Bluffton. One of the opportunities you see right there is when you, you always want to put it in there so your players have a chance to get ahead on it. The problem is a lot of times you put it too close to the goalie, and a good goalie like we have here on the Wildcats, that's not going to fool them. No, and it's a right-footed, so it's going to swing in or swerve in toward the goalie, and, you know, that's... A little bit easier for the goalie to get. Exactly. Yep. And again, first picks that up. Thinks about a quick restart of uh, counter, but take his time. 29-26 on the clock. It remains 1-1. We'll take a quick break for our sponsors and be back with action. And we're back in the attack. 1-1. Nice shot. Shot oh. from Good. Handled by Firth. Great shot. He had to get down quickly as that thing took a curious quick hop. Yeah. What's, what was nice that you saw from Good is he's clearly a right footer, but he's able to go to the left side right there and still get a good shot off. I agree, and I like that he took it across the face of the goal because if the keeper spills it, you'll have a second chance opportunity to bury that in the net. But uh, part luck, part good defense for the Wildcats there is Bluffton with a great opportunity. Yeah, I think I think Jaden Smith back there, the sweeper for the Wildcats, again, does a nice job really taking care of those shots and really getting a good shot there. He almost blocked it himself, kind of went through his legs. Yeah, kind of slowed it down, at least kind of disrupted there. it, exactly. But yep. he was there. Good positional soccer and tracking well side to side on the pitch. But uh, Boy, great little build up here from Bluffton. Put together like four or five nice passes. Yep, and then the last one went awry and uh, kind of a fight for possession between the squads down there. <laughs> Looking for a foul call. There is a whistle. Gonna... Yeah, there's a good example again where there's a foul there playing advantage and I think the referee should have let him keep going. They were playing advantage and he still yeah, blew it dead. So Bluffton back on the attack after the deep free kick on the foul. Service up and across the middle. Firth, no problem with that. Get that under control. The high punt restart. Drops that in the middle of the field. Service. Great service opportunity. Keeper... Kyle Basil able to grab that out of the air and avoid the final touch by the Wildcat player. It was a was good a, service up and over. It was a great little cross in. Bluffton back on it. Nice quick passing. Again, a little triangle positioning. And that's where the sweeper helps. No sweeper there. Huffman's going to run on that and probably bury it, but... Uh, does that nice little step over again to get out of trouble. Really nice play. You got Harsler here beating everybody on the whole side right now. <laughs> he did pretty much said, I'm just going to take this third and I'll take that middle third. And and there, corner. number four. That's going to be a Out corner. of play, yep. And that's number four for the Bluffton Pirates. Levi Antrim kind of creates that corner opportunity. See what they set up here. They let's see what the what our Wildcats can do with that. Let's see right now. Looks like they put a player in on the around the keeper, more probably just to distract him than anything. But uh, yeah, let's see where the service is. Low Near service. Post. Oh, oh, great save by Firth. Great save. 
Stepped up. That ball came in low and hard. If that thing gets through, they had two players on that back post. It's going to get buried, but uh, Firth gets his hands on that quickly, Lars. Nice play by the keeper. Up and back on it. Far side. Huh. Oh, great Look little play. That. A step over from the Wildcats. Yes. They can do it, too. <laughs> it's not a one-way street when it comes to tricky feet. It is not. It was not. Nice little play there. All right, some nice possession from Bluffton again here. Ooh, I was close to offside, but not very close. Again, there's the, there's the downside of the sweeper. He's you settled bet. back in, so no you're going to get that space. Would have been offside for sure with no sweeper. You're upside well, right. Oh, oh, spills it. First spills that, but able to get back on it. Almost a big mistake by... By the goalie right there. Yeah, again, a little slick. He just kind of lost the handle on it and slid probably a foot further than he expected. But nothing hurt. Still 1-1 here at Kaleida High School. I think we've settled back here again into a lot of possession by Bluffton. You know, we don't see, the, don't see our Wildcats really getting control of the ball right here. They keep doing a little bit of kick and run. Kaleida building up out of the back. Effort at bypassing midfield, but dogfight for the ball. Far side. Little battle there. Bluffton will come away with it. Quick ball in behind the defender. Well defended. Just holds his man off on his shoulder. Recovers it. Huffman looking for that, but not able to get quite to him. Foul. That's uh, Bachrath. 21 goes down. Looked like he just kind of ran into the elevated leg of the player, but agree that's a foul, Lars. He's done a nice job getting open on the wings and getting some crossovers. So I think they've identified that, and that was a nice foul on him. Doling out the collisions out there. Players shake hands. No harm. Yeah. Good to see the sportsmanship in high school soccer. It is. It is. Sometimes, you know, we're out there to see some players that are having some real success. Sometimes you just put a little knock in just to show them that you're there. Yeah. So they know that you're there. Let them rethink their future. Huh? Rethink if they're going to hold on to the ball or not. Right. <laughs> Rush that pass enough. Throw in here for the Wildcats. Down the sideline, but left in the initial control. It's good to see Stesh Schulte out there again. You know, he was hurt before, so he's out there again now, which is good to see. Yeah, he, and he had a good impact in that first half. Some good here, opportunities. Here he is. Let's see if they get a nice crossover. Great ball in. Oh. Headed initially away and partially cleared, but player facing his own goal, not able to hit the eject button and get it completely clear. But Basil will come up with that. So one thing about, uh, just a quick comment on keeper play, those high, high kicks are hard to control for those players. If you serve that kind of a low, hard, you know, kind of more like what you would see a squib punt in football, a lot easier for those players to knock down and control. It is, especially when you're playing at night with the lights. I think the lights play with the ball in the air a little bit. So I agree with you. It's a lot easier to find when it's coming more as a line drive to you when you see other than those ones that are up there like Sputnik, like you said before. Yeah, it's tough to pick them up. It's tough to pick them up. Right. So Bluffton with a little cross opportunity, but Firth picks that up. Oh, tough header there. Well, headed back by Bluffton, and Basil will come up with that. I think it looked like that, but I don't think that was his intent. <laughs> <laughs> At least not to head it that direction. <laughs> right. The back header, yeah. <laughs> I meant to do that. Oh, it's a foul. All Stick right. Schulte, yeah, knocks that down. A little quick head touch. He gets on that. Nice opportunity here for Kaleida coming up. Yeah. I don't know if they have enough people forward, though. Wait some organization. Service oh, it's hard. Shooting. Oh. oh, great ball. Under the bar. What Basil has crack. to make a save. He hammered that thing. What a crack from distance. Now we know why they all got out of the way. <laughs> a rocket was coming. Didn't want to get body part ripped off on the way by. 
sometimes from those shots from distance, the goalie misjudges. So that was a nice try by Kaleida. Yeah, that was under the bar. It dipped late, and uh, Basil with a good save there. But Bluffton back on the attack. Far side. Nice Head cross down. in. Oh. Just a bit outside. Tried to put it to the near post and lost it a little bit on, the, on his right foot there. 2046, we'll take a quick break where it remains 1 1 in. And we're back in action. Clock continues to wind down. We're about uh, three quarters of the way through this contest. All sewn up. 1 1 here. Great match so far, Lars. Very tightly played. You know, we see Bluffton holds possession, but. Kaleida does a nice job in that final third, wrapping up Bluffton. So, uh, you know, it's continuing to be a battle here. We'll see how this is going to finish in this last 20 minutes. Yeah, exactly. No space for, you know, any quick through balls or runs on. But uh, Bluffton awarded a corner kick in that last attacking opportunity. Both teams get organized. Bluffton kind of puts a player near the keeper and a pass a mob out by the uh, far side looking for an outswinging ball. They make their runs. Ball in. Oh. Firth gets it initially. And nice it's cleared. Try. Excellent wow. clearance there under duress by a great, great corner kick. Oh, Bubba's thin. Here we go. Just like before. Turns on the Jets. Beats that first defender, but... Uh, Bluffton, a little help from his friends, and quick counter here. A little 2v1 out there, but... Uh, Hartzler was there again in the back. The sweeper for Bluffton's had a nice game, and he was just really shut down Bubba on that run. Yeah, got there just in time as Smith accelerated, tried to get by into that kind of back half of the 18, but Bluffton comes away with it, but they're back on the attack at Kalina's defensive end. All out of play, kind of inadvertent. It looked like he slipped a little, but it uh, did. It did, and he had a little bit of time there too. Yeah, it's too bad. Too much time. Don't think. And Bluffton will continue with uh, some throw-in opportunities over by the bench. All right, this is a promising-looking attack here. Nice pass outside. A little, not much help from the home pitch there for Kaleida. Nice ball in. Nice crack. Oh, great cross and shot just high. I think he surprised him a little bit with a low cross. And there was a one-timer. Just put it over the bar. Hit it hard. Great try. Good look. Technical fix. Get your head forward. Ball's going to go where your face is looking. Get that foot plane angled down a little. It's on frame. It's a, it's a lot head down and then making sure with your foot that the toe is pointed down. Really That's important. For sure, but boy, that was a great opportunity. And Another crack. Collider oh. back on it. Shot from distance. Wow. Basil knocks that down. Couple nice cracks here from. That was Steck Schulte took that one. Hit that hard off his left foot. From distance. Yeah. Nice shot. Collider back on it over there, but. Kind of misfired on the pass there. I think they had a nice opportunity going. Yeah. But for their effort, they're rewarded for their patience by getting the ball back. They are. Oh, there's almost a nice give and go there. Just a little bit too far. So I'm bluffing back on it. Switches the field. <laughs> Davis looking to beat a few players. But the Wildcats defend it. I think they had him, had him well outnumbered. That was going to be tough to get a shot off, I think. 1v5, yeah. <laughs> it's not usually good math, is it? No. <laughs> Guess unless your name's Messi. <laughs> That's right. So pace of plays continued to stay pretty quick out here, Lars. It's still, yeah, we're late in the game, but there's still a lot of energy from both sides. Yeah, this is a great match. You know, both sides, you know, non-conference opponent. Last game of the 
season. Don't leave anything out there, but you know, play a nice, you know, tidy game of soccer and get yourself ready for tournament. That's just around the corner next week. Yeah, both these teams, I think, are going to have opportunities for long runs. They're both well coached, and the game is really, really tight. They both have nice teams. Bluffton, again, under control in the midfield. A little bit of zing on that. Swept away. Jaden Smith is there again. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of the sweeper system. Yeah, great ball, great ball. Long throw. Whoa. Couldn't have been a little miscommunication there, but it looks like they took care of it nicely. Yeah, first read that. Usually I'd like it if you can hear uh, the keeper yell keeper 17 miles away, and then you know he's going to go get it. He's been really solid here, Brady, right? He's had a nice game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, just the one uh, the one shot, which is just a rocket, low, hard rocket. Just came kind of out of traffic and not much he could do. Bluffton still passing that around, using their defensive line very well. Cross opportunity cut out by the Wildcat oh! defense. Shot up and over. Poked away at the last second by Great first. little try. The cross was blocked and came in low to the other forward, and he just put a nice ball over, just over the bar. Nice try. Remains 1-1, 14 minutes, 30 seconds in this second half of play at Kaleida High School on WOSN. Got rewarded with a corner kick there. And the last, if you remember the last one, they played it to the short post and almost put one in. Let's see what they do this time. Yeah, low and short. Again, the what, uh, Bluffton Pirates kind of hold their formation until the player serves it. Good service. <sighs> a little shallow, but uh, again, handled by he's, Hirsch. He's really calm back there. Yeah. He's really calm. You're never nervous when he's going up for the ball. Plucked it out of the air. Casually. That was misjudged. Misjudged by Brock Rath. Normally he's done better with the ball. But the Wildcats' initial possession still up for grabs in midfield. Out of play. Throw in. We'll go to Kaleida in Bluffton's half. Let's see what they can do here with a nice throw in right here. Looks like they got a few numbers upfield. Let's see what they can do here. Yeah, Lars, at this point, you know, either team could win this game. Could win this game, or it could end in a draw. Any of those results would be a fair result, in my opinion. Ball, ball out of play on the far side here. 13 05 on the Kaleida Telephone Company scoreboard. Kaleida Telephone offering streaming TV service along with digital cable. Out here to say good luck, Wildcats. Off the throw in, Bluffton. Oh, nice dispossess. Nice play. Oh, just under his foot. I think that's where that comes in. It's a little bit of slick field right there, and sometimes you lose possession when you don't really want to. Yeah, the grass is fairly short, too. You can tell some, some fields you'll see the grass up over the boot of the players, but out here they've kept it nice and tight, so if it's wet at all, it's going to be quick. Nice defending there. Drew Fersh, I wonder if he's the brother of Brady Fersh. He thumbs is. up from I the... I got the thumbs up from a few fans here. They are brothers. Nice little play there. Very helpful to have uh, local knowledge. And the Smith brothers, 22, Jaden Smith and Bubba Smith, number one. Okay. Not his given name. Braylon is his given name, but Bubba sounds way cooler. <laughs> Bluffton substitution. A mini number I can't quite pick up, Lars. Number four re-enters the contest. Levi Antrim for the Pirates. He was very f effective in the first half down the wing. Let's see what he can bring. Absolutely. Yeah, in about 11 minutes here on the clock. And uh, again, this... Match kind of sitting on a knife edge right now. So 
some good opportunities for both squads. Oh, too bad. And yeah, looks like Bluffton will. All right, got some numbers here. Let's see how they can on. do. A little square ball. Jaden Smith just seems to be everywhere in that back. <laughs> seems like he's covering four people at the same time. <laughs> sweeper, sweeper, sweeper. Sweeper, sweeper, sweeper. Oh. Oh, uh, unlucky. Quick Not counter here. Quick counter. Davis and it's on quickly. Smith taking on the center back. Nice little move. Close control. It's a corner. Earns a corner for his efforts. Nice job there earning the corner. No, they've taken it the other way. Ooh. Both teams looked like they were setting up for a corner, corner. which is usually a good sign that it was probably a corner. Yeah. What? Alas. Som sometimes they make mistakes, those referees. Not often, but sometimes. Yep, and if you got a white or burgundy jersey on, it's not going to be your call. It's going to be the guy in yellow. Great diving header. Jaden is again there. Nice play. Take some grass in his teeth for his efforts, <laughs> but uh, well done. Highlight real diving header. Exactly. Got to put oh, that out for the college here. scouts. Oh, just a little too far. Great run there by uh, little brother Bubba Smith. Almost put another one by the goalie there. Yep. Basil able to get that clear. Wildcat throw in far side. Seem to be taking a little bit to Bluffton right now. Yeah, so they've had see. a couple great opportunities the last Big few minutes. Big throw, good flick, oh, but nobody there. Great little flick at the near post, but unfortunately there was nobody there in the center to take advantage of that nice header. Smith puts that out of play here. Right side, bluffed and throw in. Let's see if they can get good a little bit more involved here so he can kind of control a little bit of the midfield like he's done most of the game. Yeah, he's been uh, a little absent here the last seven, eight minutes, hasn't he? He has, he has. So, and. I wonder know, if he's hurt himself. He's looking like he's limping a little bit. Could be, and to be fair, I think uh, at this point in the contest, Collide has committed a few more numbers kind of in that midfield, getting some of the defenders forward a little quicker, try and take some of that space away. Risk reward strategy. I think you are right. They do have some more numbers colliding out here. Let's see what they do with this. Bluffton. Quick turnover. Dangerous spot for a turnover. Oh, nice defending there by Bluffton. Good. He's not, also, he's not only good on the ball, he's a nice defender as well. Really nice play there. Play that nice. out wide. Oh, good idea. A little... Number three, Alec Davis looking for a little quick one-touch cross onto Hoffman, the first half goal scorer for Bluffton. Nope, collision, player down. It's number two, Theo Andius. I think he's okay. Yep, he's up. Looks like he'll live. Tough collision there. Take a quick break at 7.23. Score still 1-1 one, one on the Collider Telephone Company scoreboard. And we're back at Kaleida High School. Restart on the free kick awarded to Bluffton on the foul call. But Kaleida picks that up, working up the far left side of touch. Bluffton's having some trouble now putting together a few passes. You know, earlier in the half, they were putting together three and four passes and walking up the field, and uh, Clyde has done a nice job since. Yeah, they've gotten, like in that iteration, they got some numbers kind of closed quickly on the Bluffton player, but there's a little flick over the top. Smith will let that run out of play for a goal kick. Nice little job there, shielding the ball to get the goal kick. Yeah. The rule on that, if you're within playing distance, it's not obstruction. So 
Well done by Smith. He could have played that, chose not to. Meets all the standards of the FIFA soccer rules. We don't want to run afoul of those. The soccer gods get angry with you. Kaleida comes up with that, but foul called. Free kick awarded in favor of Bluffton. All right, let's see what Bluffton can do here. We got, what, five minutes, 546 left to go. Let's see if they can take advantage of this free kick. Let's get forward with a little bit of numbers here and see what they can do. Clock winding down here. Tight nice match. Ball in. One -on -one. Service headed away. Jaden Smith again was right there. Smith squirts out of there quick. He's on the attack, far side. But not able to reel that in. Ball just snuck away from him at the end and had a play for a bluffed and throw in. Yeah, Interesting to see how the teams both approach this last handful of minutes. Tight match. A lot know. of times it comes down to fitness, you know, these last five minutes, these matches, you know, and see how well everyone's prepared for the game. Oh, good crack. Shot. Just a bit outside there, but uh, unfortunate place for a Bluffton turnover. Kaleida pounced on that. Got a shot, but just left of the stick there. Yeah, Bubba Smith had a nice shot there again. He seems to be everywhere up front there tonight. Yeah, it was a good shot. It skipped hard, too. So, I mean, the, te the approach to it was smart. Basil will come up away with that. Bluffton keeper. Hoffman. Almost got a foot on that. If he could have flicked that over, it was him on keeper. For his second goal, take that brace home. He'd be happy with that, I'm certain. He sure would. I will say it was Jaden Smith was there again. Clean everything up from his sweeper position. Nice, nice play. And Bluffton again, looking to make some... Connecting passes on the run. Oh, there's opportunity Back for line. a nice cross. Great cross in, just doesn't quite get enough on it. That was a good opportunity for the Pirates. It seemed more like passing it to a space rather than a player. Shot from distance. Firth says, I, or Firsh, sorry, we'll take that. Again, he's so calm back there. Yeah. You can see they have a lot of confidence in him. Unflappable. It's a good quality in a keeper. Oh, a little turnover. Smith. He's in again. He's in behind Come the defense. On. Oh, great cross. Just nobody quite there. He didn't quite accelerate on that open back post, too. Neither opportunity. Shot from distance. Basil handles that. That cross was picture perfect. Out of perfect ball. Out of Smith. He is really wreaking some havoc up there. Bluffton's having some real trouble covering him. Yeah, he's quick, and he keeps that ball close, accelerates away. In that case, he got he got two, three yards of space quick with a perfect cross back against the grain, but uh, nothing on the end of it. So Bluffton back on the attack. They're committing numbers forward now. There though. is. Now there's a lot of players. Let's see what they can do with Shut. this great ball. Wonderful ball right through the six-yard box. Unfortunately, just couldn't get a foot on it. But really Bluffton's close. Still on the attack. Good ball in. Let's see. Service. Great ball in. Get up. Whoa, that was a swing and a miss right there. <laughs> swing and a miss. Uh -oh. Dangerous spot for that. Opportunity. Bluffton cross in, looking for Hoffman in the middle. Back out. I think they need a little bit of height inside the box. Yeah, Hoffman's fairly tall. I yep. assume he's probably decent in the there air. He is. Oh, nice. Well defended. Smith and Good, probably the two best players on the field going head-to-head -head right there. Yeah. Smith, I think, won that one. Great look at that. Bluffs will come away with the corner. But, uh, yeah, a little 1v1 action, but uh, Smith, Smith able to get that out of play because uh, it was looking dire for a moment. Good opportunity for Bluffton. They've These have been dangerous the last couple. Let's see what happens here. Oh, nice play. A little low service. First comes away with that handily. Boy, at this point in the match, Lars, it's probably one last push or you push for the tie. What do you think? I agree. I completely agree. Let's see what they can do here. Kaleida's got the ball. Nice attack. Got some players forward here. Let's see what they can do. Oh, 
Bluffton dispossesses the Wildcats. Like a one-two pass out there. Oh, nice ball down the wing. Nope. Cleared away by the Wildcats. Jade Smith is there again to clean it up. Good safety first, right? Here we go to brother, little brother. Oh, he lost it. We're inside a minute here at Kaleida High School. Clock ticking away. Remain drawn 1-1 one, one in a great contest. Non-league matchup between the Wildcats and the Bluffton Pirates. Bluffton throw in far side. I'm sorry. Yep, Bluffton throw in. Let's see what they can do here these last few minutes. They got the right one guy on the ball. Cast. Let's see. Good's on the ball. Let's see what he can do with it. Nice little pass. And, of course, Jade, who else but Jaden Smith is there to clean it up again. Oh, I can't foul believe that was a foul. Called. And stop the clock, says the official. 13 seconds. This is dangerous. It's like a yellow card infraction. That's the first. No, I guess not. Like he was. They got a wall set up for this kick, so we'll see how that goes. Last gasp opportunity. Clock stands at 13 seconds. Bluffton with a dangerous free kick deep. Kaleida's putting all their numbers in that area. First has the wall set up well, so I don't think it's going to be a shot. So let's see if someone get ahead on this. Let's see. Tall keeper is Fersh. Little outside flick. Service across the box. Iron away. Oh. Just over the bar. What a nice job on that header. Just couldn't head it down. <laughs> Fantastic opportunity for Bluffton to take the win. And it was the goal scorer, Nola Hoffman, that almost had a second one. Hoffman elevates but can't put it away. Great contest. Finishes 1-1 here in Kaleida. Both teams left it all out there. A great opportunity for Bluffton right there at the end. But we have come to the conclusion of this match, Lars. So... Thank you. That was a great match, and I really I'm enjoyed agreeing. that. And thanks for joining us here on WOSN. Thanks so much to Ben Reif, sports director for WOSN. We have Jacob O'Neill, our production engineer and cameraman tonight, did a great job bringing you all the views from Kaleida. Nick Fraley will do the post-production work. So for Mark Higgins, Lars Eller, and our supporting cast and crew here, thanks for joining us for tonight's broadcast of high school soccer. Final score. <laughs> Bluffton won, Kaleida Wildcats won. Wish both squads the best of luck as they enter the tournament this season, and may your shots be on frame, your feet fast. Have a great night. WOSN broadcast crew here, Lars Eller and Mark Higgins with Jaden Smith, the man of the match in tonight's contest, a 1-1 final between the visiting Bluffton Pirates, Kaleida Wildcats here at home. Jaden, talk us through that last uh, foul in play. What were your thoughts on that? Well, I just, I went straight up, and I, we had like 30 seconds left. We had to make one last push, and I went up, thought I went straight up, but ref thought otherwise, and you got to play on, so. Dangerous opportunity, but it was well defended, and, uh, Tough night. I want to. We're going to conservatively say, Lars. What did he have on numbers of clearances? What do you think? I think he had at least 15 headers that <laughs> we came into the box. You were all over the place tonight. You did a really nice job. Thank so, you. So, talk to us uh, about tournament coming up next week. Uh, who, who are you looking for there? Uh, you know, we want to. We want to find Ottaville back at district finals. We're just going to have to play our game all throughout and meet them back there. So you had a draw with them on the season, correct? Yes, that's correct. So you think you can handle them if you can meet them? It's going to be another good game, but I think we can claw out of it. So they're the one seed, you're the two, so that's what you're looking for? It's going to be a big game. Okay. I just had one other question. It seemed like your little brother was getting pretty dangerous up there, too, so it seems like you guys have been a good team all year. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, those, those young guys have really stepped up this year. We had a bunch of good seniors last year, and then those guys filled their spots very well. And you're a senior this year? Yep. Well, plans for next year? Uh, go to school for physical therapy. But no soccer? I don't know. We'll see. Well, you look good out there tonight. Uh, congratulations, sir, and uh, best of luck in the tournament for you. We'll be pulling for you guys, so take care. Yep. Thank you, guys. There you have it.
Man of the match, Jaden Smith, sweeper and defender for the Kaleida Wildcats. Tonight's match, 1-1. Bluffton Pirates Collide of Wildcats for the WSN crew. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, and be sure to catch future broadcasts for all the high school sports action. And we're out.